Hi, I'm Brooke and this is Pippa and we live in travel full time in my 2011 Honda Pilot and today we are talking about safety. Now, I already did a safety video a little less than a year ago that I dived into like my really deep thoughts about living and traveling as a solo person on the road and giving like my tips, tricks, full breakdown. And I don't really think I need to remake that video. So if you want the actual tips and tricks and etc., I'm going to leave that video linked down below because I still think it's valid. I still think it is a great video of mine. I think it really explains my stance on a lot of things. Um, but this is kind of more of an updated video based on the fact that I have been on the road now for three years. And so things tend to change the longer you're on the road. And my most commonly asked question is, do I feel safe? But I feel like I feel safe because of different reasons now that I've been on the road. And so I'm just going to kind of like riff off of that instead of giving like the same tips and tricks and stuff that you see on every other social media page. Because I think sometimes um, the actual tips and tricks that people give out are great. I know that they are very well-meaning, but every single year a new tip or trick for travelers kind of comes out and becomes just like an echo chamber for the people who are watching social media and not people who are actually traveling. And a lot of the tips and tricks that kind of go viral or are the ones that just live in the comment section constantly aren't really that applicable to day-to-day -day travel life and actually probably aren't very safe to begin with. Um, so I'm going to just give you my thoughts on how I have handled things and a little backstory on it and you can take from it what you will. I know that I'm very self-aware now in the fact that like 95% of the people who watch my videos will never go on the road. They probably won't ever even camp or sleep in their car or sleep in a tent or get an RV or rent one or whatever and that's totally fine. I understand that these videos are for public consumption and for entertainment but for the five percent that also live on the road or really will get out here at some point I do want to bring my unique perspective which is why I have this channel to be able to kind of explain how things really are. So when I first moved into my car, I literally left the airport and had nowhere to go but to move into my vehicle with Pippa. We stepped off a plane at the Phoenix airport, picked up my Honda CRV at a storage unit, and immediately had to live in that car. Like I did not have any, um, I didn't have any prep time. Like so this, so while my journey is a little like confusing for some people, the actual move into a vehicle and not into an RV or a class C or anything like that was like not a choice. Like it was a very instant thing that had to happen the day that I got back um, to Arizona. So, and this happened two years ago and the only thing I knew was how to exist in the camping community because that's what I started in. I started car camping, I started in, traveling in an RV, and that is the community that I have stayed in. So I do not attempt to exist in places that I am not welcome. And I think that is one of the biggest parts of that keeps me safe. So I do not attempt to exist in society at all. I think because I'm relatable on camera, because I'm sober, I am white, I'm young, I have a job, and I stay relatively clean or clean looking in my videos, people forget that I am in the traveler, basically unhoused, community. Um, you guys are getting a window into my world, but I do not exist in your world. Does that make sense? Other than like these videos. So I don't generally as much as I humanly can, unless it is a necessity because I'm traveling from point A to point B, I try not to exist in 
general public spaces like Walmarts, parking lots, rest areas, hospitals. That's the viral one that's going around where people are saying to park in hospital parking lots. And I'm that trend is going to die soon, so I'm not even going to give my views on how unsafe that is. Um, but I have found that any conflict I have ever been in on the road has been where the two worlds collide. So at gas stations, at grocery stores, um, in the places that a lot of you guys want in the comments, <laughs> travelers to park or to sleep or to function. Um, and most of us do not function well in society because we're not accepted. We are a subculture of society at this point. So um, I keep myself the most safe by staying around people who are like me. So to you, that may be somebody who looks sketchy. That's a weirdo. That's the creeper in the forest. That's in that rundown camper. That's in that rundown minivan. Um, or isn't in a rig that you would perceive as van life or wealthy or doing this by choice. Um, but my, I feel very safe within my own community out on public land or camping style because it is, it's my people. Um, they are not people who are going to disrespect my space. They're not people who are going to call the cops on me. They are not people who are going to harass me or my dog or do anything because we all have a community out here knowing kind of the social rules that from the outside um, look different uh, to the people who drive by them or that live a regular quote unquote life. So I think one of those things is, is that keeping yourself safe is having the awareness to know when you don't quite fit in in regular society anymore. Um, so I'm speaking to obviously the people who are either doing this by choice and have been preparing for it or the people who don't have a choice and have to um, start this on their own. I'm, I'm saying that if you are somebody who can be privileged enough to not have to be in cities and things like that, um, to not, to don't, don't try to exist around regular society. Um, it tends to not work out well. Uh, there are certain communities around the U.S. that have very travel-friendly towns, and I would say you'll probably thrive in those towns. If you like cities and you like having that lifestyle, like a lot of beach communities, a lot of hiking communities. Um, there are so many that are spread out, but everywhere in between, um, there are a reason you don't see a lot of travelers in certain areas of the country, and it's because we aren't welcome there, and it's unsafe for us. Um, so I don't have an issue normally with safety at all, other than listening to my gut and having my head on a swivel, uh, because I don't try to exist in places where I am not welcomed by the general population. Um, and I know that and I'm aware of that. And some of my most stressful times of my week are when I have to grocery shop and be in a Walmart parking lot. I have a way higher chance of being followed, being harassed, um, being assaulted, anything in those public spaces, even if it is in broad daylight, uh, because of having a bed in the back of my car. Um, so I feel much safer being away from the general population who does not understand this and sees me as an unhoused person. Um, and for the people who watch other YouTubers and other creators, I do want to have like a little PSA in this video and like maybe something like that's a little food for thought. Um, you guys a lot of the time really support creators that are younger and want the best for them. Um, but I really challenge you to think about your bias and how you feel and vote in your communities um, around affordable housing or the unhoused population because what if 
you didn't know who I was? What if you didn't know I had a social media channel? What if you didn't know that I had a cute dog or I had a relatable personality? And for two weeks, I was parked outside in your neighborhood. Um, what would your reaction be? Would you be as welcoming as you are in my comments when you offer me a place to park? Or would you try to run out that person because they don't have a social media presence or that it's creepy and they're a weirdo sleeping in their car in my neighborhood? Um, I don't think Honestly, if you, a lot of you take a really hard look at yourself, I don't think you would be as welcoming. Um, and that's okay because I understand it's stranger danger, it's this, that, and the other, but I think um, people like me and who look like me and have this platform can start to challenge some of that behavior because unfortunately, these situations for younger and younger people and are going to be making these choices to exist in this type of space and I really challenge you to think about things a little bit differently when you're offering some of that safety advice because a lot of the times we are more afraid of how you will react. It's not uh, the other way around. There are very 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 few creepers or weirdos or people with ill intentions in our community. Of course, every community is not perfect. Every neighborhood is not perfect. Every um, subculture is not perfect. But at the same time, it happens far less because we all have to look out for each other because we all don't have permanent homes. So I would just take this safety kind of riff and challenge yourself to see how you feel about it and to the people who want to get on the road and truly are planning to actually do this lifestyle. I also challenge you to be more open-minded in joining some of these communities and being kind and that karma in the travel community is real if you have the opportunity to help someone in a bad situation um whether that's helping them get their rig unstuck or to help them jump their car battery etc there is always going to be that karma that comes back around because good people really do exist out here that will help you every step of the way i wouldn't have made it this long on the road feeling super comfortable and having zero incidences um with my safety if this wasn't built full of mostly amazing people who are also on the road. They may be weirdos, they may be outcasts, they may be whatever, but not in a bad way. In a very special, this is like a life-changing experience type of way. So I don't think anybody should be any more afraid than you already are living in your own community. Um, but I do challenge you to be more open-minded in how you view things. So that is my little riff on safety today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little bit different. It's not so tips and tricks, um, but it is me wanting to make sure that I am bringing a unique perspective to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.